HPV is the most commonly sexually transmitted infection in the U.S. It is known to cause multiple types of cancer, including cervical cancer. And while the HPV vaccine is now routinely given to boys and girls around age 11 or 12, experts say there are many adult patients who don't realize that they're not too old to get it as well. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain. I didn't realize this either. Yeah, it's not an age limitation thing anymore. You know, when the HPV vaccine was first approved back in 2006, it was recommended up to to age 26, but in 2018, the FDA expanded the age limit to 45, acknowledging that it could still reduce the risk of cancer in those individuals as well. But somehow that message just hasn't gotten out. I am so a little kind of shocked to find out how many women are unaware that it's still available to them um, because they think that they have aged out of the opportunity. As an OB-GYN at Henry Ford West Bloomfield, Dr. Anastasia Arab makes a point of discussing the HPV vaccine with all of her patients who qualify. Many don't realize it's an option for them. Our goal is to try and vaccinate all individuals, male or female, as early as age 9, but our target audience is age 11 to 12. But we can certainly continue to do catch-up and booster vaccinations for those that missed out on the opportunity all the way up until the age of 45 for both male and female individuals. While the risk of being exposed to HPV is lower in long-term monogamous relationships. I still recommend it to my happily married monogamous relationship individuals because let's be honest, we just never know what life is going to throw us in terms of a curveball. Infidelity, divorce, being widowed and sexual assault can all change that risk in the future. I still offer it to everybody as a prevention for the what ifs and what happens in life. The goal is simple. So that we can get everybody caught up and hopefully start preventing more episodes of not only cervical cancer, but also vulvar, vaginal, and even head and neck, mouth, oral, and throat cancers. Now, here's the thing. The vaccine is most effective at preventing cancer if it's received before you come into contact with any strains of HPV. That's why it's given as part of the routine childhood vaccines around 11 or 12. But there is still protective value if received it later. So it's important for women and men to have that conversation with yeah, your doctor. Really important because even she mentioned some of them, but it yeah. feels like HPV just keeps getting linked to more and more cancers. Right? Yeah, it is. And it's in men and women. In fact, HPV is now thought to cause 70% of oropharyngeal cancers and that includes mouth throat tongue tonsil basically everything back here this is a highly effective vaccine though so we really want people to take advantage of it yeah. before their window of opportunity closes 70 percent now mm -hmm. of those kinds yeah yep. thanks for Great the information time.